Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a key cutting business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a key cutting business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. You'll probably need a duplicate key at some point in your life. Whether you've misplaced a key or need a spare set for a partner or friend, this industry is in high demand, and the startup costs are surprisingly low in comparison to other industries. The best way to start your own keymaking business is to add it to an existing one. Key duplication isn't the most lucrative job in and of itself, but it can add a significant amount of profit to your locksmith or hardware store. When it comes to entering the keymaking industry, it may be easier to open a franchise rather than start from scratch. This is something you'll have to consider because franchises typically require more initial funding but come with built-in brand recognition and a loyal customer base. If you want to go the franchise route, you must choose one that works for you. The Keyless Shop, for example, offers franchising opportunities and promises owners 50% gross margins, despite the fact that getting a key cut at a keyless shop costs consumers 50% less than a car dealership. This is also marketed as a profitable addition to existing mechanic shops, with average startup costs ranging from $30,000 to $50,000. However, it may be more expensive than starting a keymaking business from home, where the equipment costs several thousand dollars. For your key cutting business, you'll need to create a solid business plan that includes a target demographic. If you open a full-service locksmith business, you will encounter a wide range of customers, from corporations to private residents. Your business model is determined by the type of work you want to do. On-call locksmiths, for example, can charge a premium for working outside of normal business hours. That type of business model will almost certainly require a service vehicle to visit clients but it is unlikely to be suitable for a single parent with children sleeping at home. Before a business can officially open its doors, it must meet a number of legal requirements. A business license from your local government is required for a key-cutting business. You must also register your company with the IRS and obtain an employer identification number. You want to select a business structure. If you're the sole operator, this could be as simple as a sole proprietorship but you'll probably want some liability protection. Most businesses in this industry are run as LLCs, which should protect your personal assets if your company fails. You should also obtain the necessary insurance at this stage of the business. If you're going to have service trucks, you'll need general liability insurance and a commercial auto policy. If you have employees, you'll also need workers' compensation, and you may want to get some kind of protection for your locksmith and keymaking equipment. Location is important for any business, but running a keymaking business out of its own storefront is unlikely to be profitable. A keymaking business is typically most profitable as an add-on to an existing business, such as a hardware store, auto shop, or full-service locksmith. This is why you'll almost always see people getting their keys cut at Home Depot or True Value. There are two approaches you can take. You could pitch your key-cutting business to a local hardware store that doesn't offer the service and see if you can negotiate a portion of the store's rent. A small storefront in an area with little competition is also possible. If you open a key-cutting business next to a major chain, you must have extremely competitive pricing, which is simply not possible if you rent out an entire storefront on your own. Making mechanical keys is probably the simplest. These are all metal keys with no chips or electronics. Your house key, for example, is most likely a mechanical key. To get started with this type of key, you'll need to buy the keys to cut. Beginners will most likely want to buy, 1. An introductory set of automotive mechanical keys. This can cost between $500 and $1,000 for the initial investment, but it will prepare you to copy keys for a variety of popular car brands such as Subaru, Toyota, Volvo, and others. This is available from a key supply store. 2. An initial supply of high-security mechanical keys. Because the most recent car models require high-security mechanical keys, a small bundle will fill in the gaps where your starter pack falls short. This should only cost a few hundred dollars. 3. Numerous blank keys, this is ideal for anything other than a brand-specific automotive key, such as an apartment or house. 
It's not always as simple as getting a key cut in today's technological age. You will almost certainly need to program electronic automotive keys and key fobs. If you plan to use transponder keys in your business, you should buy, one, a transponder key starter kit. This will prepare you to create keys for the vast majority of car models, but car manufacturers update their keys on a yearly basis. 2. Transponder keys with high security. 3. GM single and double-sided VAT keys, while not technically transponder keys. GM uses VAT keys with a chip in their vehicles. A pack of 15 will cost less than $40. To round out your equipment list, you'll need a standard key duplicator machine, which can cost less than $500, a code cutting machine, and transponder key programmers, testers, and cloners, which can cost several thousand dollars each. Laser key cutting machines, tubular key cutting machines, and decoders, which determine how to cut a key without disassembling the lock, are also options. Determine your budget and then expand where you want. Start with basic residential and commercial keys and then progress to programmable key fobs. Remember that key duplication is likely to be a significant portion of your business, so don't skimp on a low-cost duplicator machine. Consider something in the $1,500 range. It's also worth noting that, in addition to the initial investment in a programmer, you may have to pay monthly fees because car manufacturers update keys so frequently. You wish to establish your pricing structure. As long as the key isn't specialized, most locksmiths charge between $1.50 and $4 to cut it. Transponder keys that are specialized or programmable typically cost between $50 and $175. If you also provide locksmith services, you can charge a mobile fee of $30 to $150 during normal business hours, and $40 to $100 per lock. Make sure you have a mobile minimum fee in place so you don't waste time traveling long distances to install a $20 lock. It is critical to market your company. Positive Yelp and Google reviews are the best way to market your business as a keymaker or locksmith. You should also join a tradesman website such as Angie's List. Encourage your customers to leave positive reviews and think about offering a special deal to first-time customers. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a key-cutting business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.